YouTube, I was asked to do a demo of the products from this kit here, the Mally Simple Steps to a You You Love um, kit. And this kit is going to be a today's special value on QVC on July 29th, which is next Tuesday. Um, so I decided I will go ahead and get the, the demo of the products done before the kit comes out so people can see it. I have no makeup on my face today. I did do my brows. Just filled in my brows because there's no brow product in the kit. And I did just put like a little bit of a balm on my lips. And that is the strawberry, rosebud strawberry lip balm. Um, although there is a lip color in here that's moisturizing, my lips felt dry. So I just put um, a little bit of balm on there. And I am going to use one Mally product that is not included in this kit. And I am going to finish my eyes off because there is only like one um, eyeshadow stick in the kit. I am going to finish my eyes off with this um, Coastal Scents little hot pot palette that I made. They had them on sale for 99 cents. So if you ever catch them on for sale on 99 cents, they are very good um, eyeshadows. But I am going to start off with the Perfect Prep Primer, which is not included in the kit. Um, and cancel that phone call and I am just gonna I did sort of um, moisturize my face I did put some argon oil on my face this morning after I washed it but that is all that I have on there so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the primer on and then we will get started with the foundation And I am going to try and do this as quickly as possible because I am going to be talking through it and I don't want to speed it up. And we will see how long it actually takes me to um, do a makeup application. I'm going to try to make it as quick and easy as possible. So that is the um, Mally Perfect Prep Primer. Um, I may be out of, I may have this in my face from time to time so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And I am trying to get better with looking into the camera lens instead of looking over to the side here to the viewfinder because that's kind of rude. But um, it's just something you automatically do because you kind of check yourself out while you do the videos. But um, the first thing we are going to use it's the Poreless Perfection Fluid Foundation, and I have it in the color Rich. And it comes with the sponge, but we are going to use the brush today. And like I said in my other video, it comes with a little airproof little seal. And then this is the foundation. I am going to just sort of lightly tap the... um maybe a little more than lightly tap and sort of dot on my face the foundation and then I'll buff it in and then we'll see if we have to um, apply more and I am not new to Mally foundations I have used her foundation before but it's the cream that comes in a palette this actual formula is new to me, but her foundations are not new to me. And they pretty much seem to um, match my skin tone. The other one I can just only sort of use in the winter time because it's kind of thick. So this is sort of a better um, summer alternative. Because it's very light. It feels very light on the skin. Make sure I get right there. I am not trying to cover up a whole lot. I am going to go under my eyes with the next product in a second. But um, it is, it looks like a light coverage. I can still see my little friends here. But I am not, I have one little red area right there, right there. That I may want to cover up a bit. Other than that, 
I would say I am done and we are already five minutes in so I am going to speed this up and this is because I'm running my mouth so that is the foundation so the next thing I'm going to use that comes in the kit I'm going to use one that I already have open and this is the perfect prep under eye brightener and I have it in the color deeper and it did come in deeper in the kit but I already have one of these things last you forever so I don't want to open the new one and I am just going to use the lid because there is more than enough in the lid we are going to start off with just that small dot and that may be enough focus for both under eyes we shall see and she calls this um, her sunshine in a jar and trust me a little bit goes a long way a very little bit goes a long way And I'm just going to sort of just do this. I'll just pat it in a bit. And I can sort of still see darkness under my eyes. I can see where I have it here, but I feel like somehow I missed it right where I needed it to be. And that is right here so let's see and I'm trying to be very gentle with the under eye area here That, that may have even been a little bit too much because now I feel like I look yellow under the eyes this light is a little bright and one second okay so I wanted to grab one more Mally product that I have this is not included in the kit this is the Perfect Skin Illuminate and Refiner and I'm just going to set the foundation with this and I have it in the color Tan Rich and it looks like this here and I'm just going to use one of her powder brushes to apply it and be careful with this. Just kind of tap it off. I am going to go under my eyes here first and just sort of finishes off the foundation and the under eye brightener and I hope I'm not too washed out don't blow your products so the next thing I am going to use is I am going to go for the eyes I am not going to put on any um, eye primer or anything first this is supposed to be sort of your eyeshadow your eye base and your everything so we are going to Put this on the lids and this is the color copper rose I don't know if you can see that I'm gonna put this on my lids and then sort of kind of blend it out into the crease and this is another Mally brush I am going to use I'm trying to stick with one brand here um, won't totally because I need the other eyeshadows but I am just going to put copper rose on the lid And just sort of take 
this little brush here and just sort of blend it in the crease area. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit so you can see what I am doing. So this is the one lid with the copper rose. This is my next lid with copper rose. Am I saying the right thing? Yeah. So it's like a rose gold color. And this is what she calls a bulletproof. Once it sets, it is there. So if you want to use it as a base for other eyeshadows, you can. Or if you just want to use it for shadow, a shadow, you can definitely use it for just a one shadow look. I can do this and put, put my eyeliner and my mascara and be done. But I am going to add just a little bit more to this. One second. So I am going to do just like a little bit of, I am going to do a bit of a crease color, sort of like a blending color. I'm going to use this color here. And this color is, um, oh, I can't get it out one second. Okay. So this color here from Coastal Scents is Harvest Brown. And I am just going to take just the, um, Feel out a of focus and it is hot as hell in this room right now I need to turn the ceiling fan on so we are just going to put the harvest brown in the crease here and if I wasn't talking this would not take me long at all because this is one of my sort of quick everyday go-to type of looks but that is a little bit of harvest brown in the crease And up to sort of the brow bone. And then I am going to use this end of the brush once again. And we are going to go into this color here just to give it a little bit of interest. Um, and this is Vintage Burgundy from Coastal Scents. This one right here. That might not be exactly what I want. Um, we'll see. Let's try it out. Okay, so my camera cut off. So we are going to try a little bit of that vintage burgundy on the outer corners. And just sort of blend it in this way just a bit. Yeah, I think that's what I want. sort of blend it in a bit and these lights are making it a little hard to see where I need to blend so forgive me if this is not actually perfect glitter the, a little bit of the glitter from the um I'm trying to break my shadows the um glitter from the Mally 
shadow stick is sort of going up into my crease. And I am going to use one more thing just to have bright highlight the brow just a little bit. Sonia Kashik palette. This is my palette that sort of fills in for the rest of the palettes that don't have exactly what I need in them. And just put that right there on the brow bone. Okay, so let's put that back. Um, I am going to use the next product from Mally, and I keep getting messages. Um, and I don't know where it went. Oh, yeah, here it is. This is the Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner, and it's in the color blue black. I am going to clean this up in a second, but um. I am going to put that right at the lash line and also kind of tight line with it. I don't think I'll put it under here today because I don't want that dramatic, dramatic look. So we are just going to go as close to the lash line as possible. Sorry if you can't see that. And this glides right across your lid, so not a lot of pulling and tugging when you put this on, which I like. So that is done. And then the last thing that I am going to use from, no, that's not the last thing. The next thing I'm going to use is the Volumizing Mascara, one of my favorite mascaras. And this is just being opened today. So I do have my little date sticker on it. And excuse whatever faces I make doing this. I always make faces putting mascara on. I know she says curl your lashes first. But my lashes are already curly. So I don't see a need to curl my lashes before I put mascara on. Because they already stay curled. So, she says two coats on the top, one coat on the bottom. So, let's see.
always make a mistake putting mascara on. Um, so I'll clean that up later. So we'll do the second coat on the tops. And if you ever um, do make a mistake with your mascara, don't try to hurry up and, and rub it off. Wait for it to dry and take like a Q-tip or something to just sort of flake it off and it'll come off. Alright, so the last thing that I am going to use from the kit is her moisturizing lipstick and this is in the color of the French Kiss and I am very curious about it. The color looks like this. So it's almost like a neutral pink color and I think it's a little bit a little bit sheer. So it's kind of forgiving, which I hope means it's going to work for my lips. So let's see. is okay I think I would probably still be more comfortable using a lip liner with it it's just it's okay it is very moisturizing but it's a little bit light for me so that is it for everything that comes in the kit showing you everything using everything that comes in the kit like I said before um, I am just gonna off camera put some blush on and then I will be done and like I said, this will be on on Tuesday, the 29th as a today's special value on QVC. It'll be $59.96. I am not sure if it will be on Easy Pay on that day or not. But if you want to check it out, it will be on then. One day only at that price. Um, I am not sponsored. I sound so much like a commercial, but I am not sponsored. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.